Warlock is one of the most versatile classes in Hearthstone. This is largely thanks to its hero power, Life Tap, which allows you to draw a card at the cost of two life. This opens the way for multiple playstyles. For example, aggressive decks can play lots of cheap minions and effects early to gain control of the board, and then use the hero power to refill their hand so that they don't run out of gas. Control decks also love drawing cards, and the ability to fill your hand with the solutions to all the problems your opponent is throwing at you in the early game has seen the rise of decks such as Reno Lock, Hand Lock, and Cube Lock over the years. There are three defining characteristics of the Warlock class that you need to be aware of. First, there's a lot of synergy with the Demon Minion type. Whether it's drawing them from the deck, buffing them, or bringing them back from death, Demons are ever-present in a lot of Warlock decks, even if they don't use these support cards. To be honest, Demons tend to be powerful enough by themselves. Secondly, like the Shaman class, there are a lot of cards in the Warlock class that have very powerful effects for a low mana cost. The additional cost in the Warlock class, however, is either dealing damage to yourself or discarding one or more cards at random. Because of the sheer power of these effects, these cards tend to see a lot of play. But be aware of how you're using these cards, as the costs do add up, and you may find that you've bitten off more than you can chew. Finally, there are a lot of cards in the Warlock class that have an impact on the board and gain you life. This is to offset the cost of drawing cards with life tap. Be aware, however, that these cards tend to be more expensive than they perhaps might be in other classes, so use these cards with caution. For the basic Warlock deck, we've decided to go with the aggressive deck that we mentioned before. There's a lot of basic Warlock cards that support this playstyle, so that's what we're going with. We're running a lot of cheap minions, since we're looking to establish a board that's difficult for our opponents to keep up with. Voidwalker, Bloodfen Raptor, Murloc Tidehunter, and Succubus are all great cards to play. Some people don't like Succubus, but in this deck it's fine to play, since the random discard is not as impactful as it might otherwise be due to the basic nature of the deck. We also have Razorfen Hunter and Dragonling Mechanic to help us go as wide as possible on the board. We back up our small minions with some buff effects from Raid Leader, Shattered Sun Cleric and Stormwind Champion. Finally, we have some big minions as a backup plan. Cheerwind Yeti, Frostwolf Warlord and Boulder Fist Ogre will all get the job done should the first or second wave of minions fail to do so. We also have a small amount of removal in the deck. Mortal Coil and Soulfire are both excellent one-cost spells for different reasons. Soulfire for its sheer power and Mortal Coil for its utility. Finally, there's Shadow Bolt, a pretty straightforward 4 damage removal spell. Note that there is no Hellfire in this deck. Since we are playing a lot of small minions, running Hellfire would hurt us a lot more than help us. If we were playing a slightly more controlling deck, then I would play it. But we're looking to be as aggressive as possible, so we don't want it. In terms of choosing our opening hand, Voidwalker, Bloodfen Raptor, Murloc Tidehunter, and Succubus are all good to keep. If we have a solid turn 2 play already in our hand, then Raid Leader, Razorfen Hunter, and Shattered Sun Cleric are good options. Finally, if we have a turn 2 and turn 3 play, or just a turn 2 play but we have the coin, then Cheerwind Yeti and Dragonling Mechanic are both good. But enough talking, let's draw some cards, play lots of minions, and show what this deck can do. Okay, so we're up against Warrior. Uh, Voidwalker on turn one's excellent. Shadow Bolt to deal with anything, although I'm not particularly sure I want to keep it. Um, but if you play something like Armorsmith, it's a good thing, good thing to remove it with. Uh, Dragonling Mechanic is also nice uh, as a turn three play with the coin. I'm only going to throw back Bold Fist over, I think. Two Shadow Bolts is bad, though. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Prince Malkazar. A lot of people are playing Prince Malkazar in these sort of um, ranks. I don't like calling them low ranks. This is more like the free-to-play ranks. Um, there's another mechanical... Uh, Dragonling mechanic, sorry. But there's a 1-3 Taunt. One of the best one-drops in the game, I think. Voidling. Uh, Voidwalker, sorry. And they said Voidling element. Although I think Voidwalker is technically an elemental. Um, I think I'm going to attack for one and then life tap 
and then play the dragonly mechanic on three. Yeah. So we knew that was coming. We knew all about the Armorsmith. So I'm just going to Shadow Bolt that. And then just attack for one and pass the turn. I don't really mind leaving the Zoth's first mate up. Okay. He's getting some value out of that rusty hook. We will play the Dragonling mechanic and then pass the turn. Wow. I have to read this. Deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. I see. We'll kill that and then we will play the Razor Fen Hunter. I think we'll life tap first, see what we get. Okay. I think we will. We've got the coin still actually, so we can just play another Dragon Wing mechanic. And then next turn, we've got Raised Fen Hunter, Shadow Bolt, Shattered Sun Clerics to play. Ready for action. Yeah. Okay. Fire Plume's heart's nice. It's a nice pickup for him. Um, I'm just going to attack in here and then play both Raised Fen Hunters. Uh. Anticipating either playing a Frost Wolf Warlord or a Stormwind Champion next turn. Or neither. As the case may be. We'll see what he does. If it's plus three health, I've got to Shadow Bolt it. It's plus one, plus one. Okay. In which case... Oh, there's Raid Leader. Cool, that makes this a lot easier. In which case, it's slightly mana inefficient, but I think it's best if I Shadow Bolt this, play the Raid Leader, and then get some really nice trades in here. And it means that I'm still, I've am still i still got the Frostwolf Warlord, I've still got Storm and Champion to play later. I've got a turn 8 of Frostwolf Warlord and Shattered Sun Cleric. That's really good. Like, even with only two minions out, Frostwolf Warlord's good. That's just irritating. Doesn't count as playing taunts, though, which is strange. I imagine that'd be a bit broke. So here we will just play the Frostwolf Warlord. And then, oh, I should have played the Shattered Sun Cleric first for that extra point of attack. Uh, but yeah. Only delaying the inevitable, my friend. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's rude. That is so rude. <laughs> that's incredible. Okay, well, that can just die. We'll play the Stormwind Champion. Kill these. Kill that. Play the Murloc Tide Hunter. And pass the turn. That, that was just rude. I like this guy's deck. Prince of Alcazar's really helped him, though. Well, he's got an Elise as well, I see. Okay.
There's Soulfire. I mean, to behold the might of Stormwind would just be great. So let's do that. Behold the might of Stormwind. Uh, 10, 14, 21. Yeah, that's lethal. And there we go. Watch your step. Your soul shall be mine. Okay. Uh, Murloc Tide Hunter into Shattered Sun Cleric into Chillwind Yeti is nice. It's not going to coin out the second one. Okay, so we'll just play the Murloc Tide Caller. Coin SI7 agent. Just be. Irritating, but we have the Raids of Fan Hunter next turn. Well, that needs to die. Yeah, I don't like it, but it can't hang around. Uh, I'm going to life tap here. There's Succubus. If Succubus is the one that's discarded, that'd be great. Raise Fan Hunter, sure. Okay. Was it, at least it wasn't Chillwind Yeti. Flame Elemental. And another Firefly. It's quite the hand. We will just straight up play out the Chillwind Yeti, attack for one and pass. Really want to get something out of this mortal coil. Succubus feels a bit awkward at this point uh, because we do have the Stormwind Champion in hand. I don't really want to get rid of it. I wonder. Wow. Two deadly poisons or cold blood? There's cold blood. Okay. In that case. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. Uh, that's another soul fire. I'm going to life tap here. There's another Stormwind Champion. Okay. And then I'm going to Mortal Coil to finish this off. Don't really want to play Succubus into that, uh, into that second Deadly Poison charge. So I'm just going to pass the turn. You have to be smart with Succubus. You have to be smart with your weapon charges with Rogue as well. I'm not entirely convinced that's the right play. But I don't know what's in his hand. I will play Succubus here. Now that the Deadly Poison's gone. Soulfire. Oh, okay. And then I want to spread things out. Although I haven't seen any eviscerates from him. But with Stormwind Champion on 7, I'll get more out of the Dragon League mechanic. So I'll pass. There's Hoarding Dragon. More Dagger Mastery, sure. At this point, I feel like that Hoarding Dragon could be trouble. So what I think I'll actually do here oh, is... Boy. Play the Murloc Tide Caller. Live tap. There's Raid Leader. We'll play the Raid Leader instead. Yeah, we'll play the Raid Leader instead. Trade these in. Pass the turn. Get two coins. Which means we can play both Stormwind Champion and a three drop next turn. Wow. Just straight up outvalued him. And there's the win. Okay, this is really nice. I'm going to keep the Mortal Coil as well because we have the coin, but we have a really nice curve, two drop into three drop into four drop. And if necessary, we can also use the Mortal Coil to draw a card. This is a really nice hand. And if you play a Swashburglar on turn one, we can kill it with Mortal Coil. Kingsbane. Ha. Huh? I see. Well, here's a Voidwalker. Your turn. 
Kingsbane's really irritating. Don't have the acidic swamp booze. We'll see what he does with this Kingsbane. Counterfeit coin. There once was a man from Gilding. Huh. Well, I'm just going to keep on hitting face. And I'm going to play the Razor Fent Hunter, and I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to make him attack this Elvish Minstrel in. Is it Elvish or Elven? Elven. Cool. And then we will play the Chill and Yeti. Coin out Mortal Coil, and then pass the turn. Nice and aggressive, just constant tempo. Feels great when you get hands like this. Force him to react. Yes, you can do that. Play Fan of Knives, also fine. Hitting my face, brilliant. Attack for five. Play the Frostwolf Warlord. Five mana, six, six. Perfect. Next turn, six mana, Bold Fist Ogre. Or maybe play Raid Leader. Deadly Poison. Fine. You'll shuffle it back into your deck. You probably have that card that... Yeah, there it is. Draw a weapon from your deck. You'll play it again. But you can't attack. And you're dead. This is why you trade, people. This is why you trade. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the basic Warlock deck. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. In the meantime, though, I've been JB for Just TCG, and I'll see you in the next one.